Back to Cato Living. Renee and Carol joining us now to talk about the upcoming diabetes rally in Mankato. Let's just start with you, Renee. Let's just talk right into it. For someone who doesn't know, what is the diabetes rally? Well, you know, it's our seventh annual diabetes rally where we want the community to come out and find out about diabetes, type 1 diabetes, type 2 diabetes. Back about seven years ago, the ADA used to have a diabetes rally, and they had to stop it. So our Lions Club, saying we serve, that's our motto, said, you know, we're going to put on this diabetes rally. In the last seven years, we've raised over $160 thousand dollars to find a cure for type 1 diabetes and to support programs like Camp Sweet Life. Hmm. Wow. And what does the money, what organization does it go to? Yep, so the Minnesota Lions Diabetes Foundation and then also to Camp Sweet Life. Great. Why is this important to have a rally like this? You know, just to bring awareness to, I mean, there are so many people that are affected by diabetes. You know, one in 500 have diabetes. And also, it's not only children, it's adults. You know, it can be type one. It also isn't just kids that get diabetes. It can be adults that get type one diabetes, as well as type two diabetes. And so, it's something that here in Mankato, it's something that Camp Sweet Life is one of the organizations here in Mankato that we support. And it's something that the kids have out there that they get to go to camp. And I worked at it this year, and oh my gosh, just to watch those kids for one week not have to worry about, or their parents don't have to worry about having the, you know, oh, we got to do this, we got to do that. The kids are all with people that are on, that have the same thing that they have. Mm. So it's really fun to see that, plus to be able to give back to research that the Diabetes Foundation does. So our Lions Diabetes Foundation does research. Camp Sweet Life does the charity for the, for the kids. Excellent, and what kind of activities will be at the rally? Well, you know, we've got vendors, of course. We've got food, <laughs> of course, and we've got a big bounce house, kids games, uh, crafts, crafts and art. Uh, so it's really a family event. It starts at 8.45 in the morning. Uh, we have a speaker coming in this year, Barb Evans, is going to talk about how when her daughter was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, how it affected the family dynamics. You know, someone gets diabetes in your family, but now it affects grandpa, grandma, mom, daughter, mm -hmm. I mean everyone. And so she's going to share a little true testimony about what it was like with her family. Wow. So, and of course there's a little walk. So we're going to do a point six walk. We're going to accent our, um, our sponsors. Each sponsor will have a sign along the walk and uh, then come back and, you know, have some snacks and uh, visit We've the vendors. Chili. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <It's Ooh>. a, <laughs> yeah. Yes. Popular item <laughs> sounds like. <laughs> and it's going to be a little cooler tomorrow, but still a great day for a walk. Great day to get out and join. There's a lot of activities going on tomorrow throughout the town, so this is a good way to start in the morning. Um, you can start coming by about 8.30. Our event will start about 8.45, and we just have um, all morning at the WOW Zone, um, right up off of Adams Street. You can come, we'll have um, people there that you can play their games, you can do events all there, and then have um, chili before you leave. Sounds so much fun. Yes. Well, thank you both for coming on Kato Living today and telling us exactly about it. Stay with us.